यस नेक्स्ट वन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ ग्रुप सेवनटीन एलिमेंट स्टूडेंट एस यू नो जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंफिग्रेशन इज एन पी एन एस टू एन पी फाइव ओके दैट इज रिक्वायर रिक्वायर वन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू कंप्लीट ऑक्टेट टू कंप्लीट ऑक्टेट ओके फ्लोरिन फ्लोरिन शोस only one oxidation state which is which is what minus 1 that is besides of minus 1 it does not shows any other oxidation state now what is the reason student as we know that it require only one electron so being require one electron therefore shows negative oxidation state and to complete octet one electron require therefore the oxidation state is 1 in fluorine okay d orbital is absent so it cannot expand cannot expand its what valency valency thus only one oxidation state is shown by fluorine okay and which is what which is minus 1 okay fluorine can show minus 1 state okay if it react with hydrogen or alkali metals or alkaline earth metals like hcl like nsl kcl etc okay it can show plus one oxidation state also if it forms compound with oxygen okay compound with oxygen means o cl2 here the cl will show plus one oxidation state one more compound is there clf that is the compound with fluorine so the fluorine is most electronegative so it will show only minus 1 while the cl can show plus 1 state it can show plus 3 oxidation state okay it can also shows plus 5 oxidation state and can also shows plus 7 oxidation state so all these oxidation state can be shown by what cl br and i now how it is possible it is possible due to excitement of electrons in the vacant d orbital okay thus there will be after complete excitement the seven orbitals become unpaired therefore it can show plus seven oxidation state like we are having the number of compounds like here o cl2 okay or we can say cl2o uh, we can consider here br f3 okay we can consider br f5 Okay, there is what I F seven, there is what I F five, there is what C L F three. Okay, moreover the C L F so many compounds are there. You can simply find the oxidation state. You know how to find oxidation state very really simple phenomenon. Are you getting? After that reaction of sixteenth group. Oh, sorry, seventeenth group with hydrogen. With hydrogen, okay. You know that all seventeenth group elements forms hydrides, and what will be the general formula of hydrides? So simply what one H and one X. It is because H is monovalent and X is also monovalent. Therefore. The simple H X is formed. Now H X is equal to you can write H F, you can write H C L, you can write H B R, and even you can write what H I. Getting okay. student, all these are called hydro hydro haloic acid haloic acids. Okay, these are called what 
mineral acids mineral acids that is what very strong acid okay strength of acid it is also very important phenomenon strength of acid so the strength of acid is hf is weakest hcl is more stronger even hbr is more stronger while the most strongest acid is what hi acid why hi acid is most strong hi is strongest acid strongest because because hi bond dissociation enthalpy is lowest is lowest also in aqueous solution aqueous solution it does not forms does not forms what hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding so release of so release of h cation becomes easier becomes easier okay actually student the strength of acid depends on two very important factor first one bond dissociation enthalpy and second one intermolecular hydrogen bonding in aqueous solution so in aqueous solution hf already it forms hydrogen bond with water and therefore all hydrogens are aligned with the water molecule so it is unable to release its h cation easily while in case of hi the bond length is highest the bond dissociation enthalpy is lowest second thing it is unable to form intermolecular hydrogen bonding with the water therefore it can very easily release h cation thus it is most acidic in nature